Many e-commerce sites have a comparison option where you can list different products and compare features, pricing, and different dimensions. From a measurement perspective, I would like to show you what and how you can track those different comparison options. So if your site has a few products or maybe three levels of service, say standard, premium, and pro, it's easy to list those three products on three services and have a table you know, differentiating and comparing the different features. However, if your site has hundreds or even just tens of, of products, you can't just list them in a table. So you use these comparison buttons or selectors to allow the user to select which products they want to compare. One specific measurement technique here is that we can track these comparison selector buttons with, say, an event. If you're using Mixpanel or Google Analytics, you can set up an event. So every time a user selects that product to be compared, we can tag it with that event. You can go to, to the events reports and then see which products are compared and which products are not being compared. Equipped with these comparison data elements or events, we can then create a segment on people or on products that were purchased and also were compared, or maybe products that were compared and not purchased. And you can see correlation between these two sets of data. And then from here, we can go and see, well, I want, this, I want to upsell this product and nobody is looking at it. Nobody is actually comparing it to something else. Maybe I can then promote it on a banner. I can send it, you know, maybe include that in my email campaign. I can modify the site so this specific product that I'm trying to upsell is more visible for people to compare. So paying close attention and measuring the user interaction, you know, for that user experience that you've created for, you know, on your site or on your mobile app is really important because it allows you to know what users are doing or not doing on your site and how they're interacting with your product categories and your product pages. And hopefully based on that insight, you can make changes to improve conversion and improve sales. Thanks for watching. For more information on Google Analytics, contact us at info at e-nor.com or visit us at www.e-nor.com.